Good morning. Today we have a garage door spring replacement. So this job is only about 15 minutes away. It's already coming close to the job time. I need to go over next door, grab some springs, but I also have to unload my truck. So let's get this day started as soon as we can. So yesterday I had two jobs. Today I only have one so far. I did end up recording those, but they didn't turn out as what I wanted. So I just gotta unload these springs. And then I should have everything I need. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, that's awesome. Let me go run over to the distributor, get what I need, then I will be on my way to this job. So, totally forgot something at the shop. Just got to go grab that real quick. It's the uh, weighing arm so I can weigh the door. Then we shall be on our way. So we are on our way to the job. The text has been sent. Uh, it just says I should be getting there at 7.52. The call is at 8 o'clock. I already know we have to replace the cables on this door, so I'll show you guys how I end up replacing the cables. So I will see you guys on the job site. Already, I got the okay to record. First things first, let's take that off. Probably gonna have to tighten this chain up after I'm done with everything. But as you can see, we have no cables on the door. Both of the springs are actually broken. So this is going to be a fun one to get open. Well, lucky for me, I got my vice grips and I have my come alongs. So I'm going to get it to a point where I can crawl under it. I'm youthful. So I'll just go underneath it. I forgot my gloves, so this is going to be a dirty one. Put this underneath the left side. Whoa. You start cranking. Cool little devices I got here, huh? Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so we do a lot of commercial work. Uh -huh. And we pick up like the big uh, yeah, like the 24 foot by 16 high, like oh, yeah. a thousand pounds. Yeah. These two things pick the, those right up too. Uh -huh. So they're very, very handy. Yeah, I <laughs> So how long you lived here? Uh, 50 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. Should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. I just got to get everything in there. Right in the middle of the door. Put this on the scale. Boom. Give it a little shake, make sure we're not caught on anything. Now we have the full door weight. As you can see, we're at 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 37. I guess I forgot my phone outside. So that's ideal, um, but it's no big deal. I've done this enough, I know what to look for. Come over here. These are OMI 8s, and it looks to me, let's check our radius. Got a 12 inch radius here. And then door should be 16 feet wide. Yep, we're 16 feet wide. I just have it on the pin. Cool. 
we will pick the door up and go outside, calculate the springs we need, and make them. Double crank on this side. So let me take a look at what we need. So how to get the calculation, it's a multiplier, so it's 37 times five. So that door is 185 pounds. Alrighty, so I'm back in here re-weighing this door because the springs on this door are way too far off for me to be confident that that's what it's supposed to be. So I just re-weighed it with this piece of wood on top on the scale. It ended up being 210 compared to 185, which are closer to these springs at 210. Uh, these are have a higher cycle spring on them right now but I want to reweigh this. I'm going to go with the 210, but I want to double check here. That did not seem like an accurate reading to me. So it needs to be at 45. So see, we just gained 10 pounds from that. So I think something's wrong with the arm. Um, I'm going to have to go back and check at the shop. I find it hard to believe that these springs were three inches too short on each side and this door worked properly. This door wouldn't have stayed on the ground and the opener would have been fried and stuff. So I uh, went with my judgment here. They already have the 30,000 cycle springs on there. I'm just going to upgrade them to the 30,000 cycle springs as well. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, let's get these off and made. That way we can get on with the job and I can show you guys the rest of it. These ones are coming off nice and easy. I love when they come off nice and easy. Another nice and easy one. Awesome. Perfect. And we'll just slice them right here. And of course, safety first. Get my eyes protected. Don't want metal shooting in there. That does not sound very fun. I would know. One done. Alrighty. The cutting is done. Now for the worst part, the reconing. Let me first bring back all of my sonic rings. Everything's gonna work perfectly fine. It's gonna go great. It's gonna slide right on. Come on now. Slide for me. No, nope. doesn't seem to want to slide for me, which is not very nice. All right, there's one spring coned. Boom. All right, these springs aren't going nowhere. You're all set, you're all solid. And now I get to add on to my, my ring collection. And also we are going to need cables, like I said. And I'm going to do it with the door in the air. And I wanted to show you guys what I do. So when I'm charging my batteries in a homeowner's house, I'll put my keys on top of the battery. That way I can't leave without that because I'm tired of forgetting them. And I've had to buy like two, 
I have to buy, no, I had to buy one. I don't want to buy them again. They came supplied, obviously. We were given them, but uh, if I'm going to lose them, it's my fault. I'm going to pay for it. There's nothing wrong with that to me. So one cable off. Second cable off. So there's no particular reason we're replacing the cables, but he wants to replace his cables as a preventative maintenance type of thing so he doesn't have to worry about it, which is more than 100% understandable. Now, for his new springs, he's never gonna have to really worry about getting the cables. Those cables are galvanized. These ones are stainless steel, so they're gonna last even longer than the other ones. So he should not have to worry about his cables breaking. Hopefully, a very, very long time. All right, that cable's on. We are all set. I'm gonna bring the door down. Boom. All good with that one. Let's get this door running. Stuck on. Yeah, see? Perfect. Come back over here. The rest of side. Awesome. Simple, like I said. Come on, what are you stuck on? Boom. Can, uh, if you want to know a little bit about your door, it weighs 210 pounds. You're kidding. Yep. Most, pe most people, when I tell them, find it interesting, so I always do. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. These are the pearls, huh? Yep. They're a little greasy, just so you know. Yeah, there they come. They're snapped right there. Yep, and they both snapped somehow almost identically. Yeah, it was animated. <laughs> It's pretty wild that they snapped at the same time. Yeah, right. A little info on your springs. Mm -hmm. The springs you had on your door had 30,000 cycles on them. So that's why they last you so long. Yeah. Because I was thinking you've been here for 50 years and you've only had to replace them four times. Mm -hmm. Three or four. This is the fourth. Yeah. My neighbor was the same thing. His house is 50 years old and he had to replace four times. Usually the standard spring has 10,000 cycles. Yeah. The springs you had on and the springs I'm putting back on, uh, and then they have 30,000. So they would last you three times the length of what they should be. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. Have you ever had your cables break on you before? No. So you probably- Yeah, just the coils. Because usually they, they rust out. It seems like you have a cleaner garage. So when you have a cleaner garage, everything, your door stays cleaner, your door stays nicer. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, corrode itself as fast. Right. When you're in like, detached garages and they just don't care and stuff and they let it get all dusty and they don't clean it yeah right like the bottoms of the tracks get all gr bad mm -hmm. then you know, the door gets all nasty and then over time it just starts rusting you know, out you know, we had was mice get, used to get in over here because that rubber doesn't go all the way down to the concrete okay did you get a new yeah we just get some new replaced okay so now it does everything's good now right So that's that. Cool. 
Oh, this ladder is so nice. I mean, so you, this ladder is like 50 pounds, so uh -huh. that's really annoying. It's super nice, and that's why I keep it in my truck. Yeah. Because if I put it in the truck on my bed, uh -huh. and then close the back, it fits perfectly. Oh, cool. And we also do commercial stuff. Yeah. So if I want, I can bring it up to 10 feet. Yeah, right. So it's very convenient, but it's so heavy. You're allowed to sit on the top of them like this, so. Is this your wrench? Yeah, I was gonna pick it up, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That way, when I forget it's there, it hits me in the head. Two. Yeah, it was, so. That's it. Now the spring is wound. See how we did. Hopefully not too bad. This is looking good so far. I told you. I told you it was coming. Yeah, it's coming down. <laughs> I almost forgot I left this up there. If I was just a tad bit taller. Your springs are gonna actually, they're gonna like lose tension just from wear. It's like after a year and then they settle out mm. and then that's how they are forever. So I always make them a little fast when I put them in. Okay. That way over time, then you get a door that runs how it's supposed to, but yeah. Perfect. Door, what I wanted to do is I wanted to fix that as well. The chain is a little bit loose. So we're gonna fix that for you. Okay, cool. You can tell somebody has a loose chain on their door. Uh -huh. If you see a door and there's like a black streak down the middle of it on the outside, yeah. it's because the chain's rubbing on the door. Right. And it's getting all that oil on the outside. Those are going nowhere. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see how we run with your opener. Uh, we're connected. No, we're not. Now we're connected. Okay. Perfect. Cool, so I'll just clean up. I'm also going to tighten everything up, lube everything up for you. And then I will get all the paperwork and stuff done. All right, you're going to lubricate the Everything. Okay. Yep. All right, Brian. All righty. Last thing to do is just tighten everything up. Good here. So I'm just gonna clean up and I'll see you guys in the truck. Alrighty, we got that job all finished up. I got some things to do back at the shop, so we're gonna only be doing that job today. 
I still gotta catch up from vacation. Uh, this is my second day. Yesterday I was jam-packed with stuff, so I wasn't able to get a single thing I needed to. I gotta get back to some emails. I gotta do some editing for the video so I can have it out, because this is Tuesday. I wanna release them on Wednesdays. So I gotta edit my video so I can get it out tomorrow. So like I said, I'm gonna call it there. I appreciate you guys watching so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.